Hi, this is Tony Poulos and I'm at TM Forum Live in Nice. This morning I have with me Jennifer Kiriakakis who is from Matrix. Jennifer, welcome. Thank Great you. to have you here. Good to be here. I see and hear a lot about Matrix and I really would like to understand a little more about what the company does. Yeah, so, you know, we're a relatively new company and what we saw back in a few years ago when we started the company is we, we saw a lot of different things converging in the industry. We saw that the, the smart devices were really starting to proliferate and they gave an entirely new user experience. Um, and we saw that the carriers were starting to invest in rolling out LTE and, and getting these faster networks put in place. Um, and what we didn't see was anybody trying to redefine the fundamental IT architectures that people are using to run their business solutions on. And we, we saw that this convergence of devices and network technology was really going to drive the need for the carriers to take much more of an online model and much more of a real-time model um, across service delivery, across customer experience, basically kind of redefine how they interact and how they deliver services and, and, and the types of products that they sell. Um, and, and we felt there was a need for a new kind of real-time technology that would help enable all of this. Um, and so we really, we, we came at it as let's build a new kind of real-time platform that then you can build applications on that will better serve the business and help the carriers take their businesses online. Is that the differentiator? Because their legacy systems weren't able to do those things. So are they replacing them or are they adding to them? How are they getting around these issues with you? I think that they're, they're, they're mostly adding to them. You know, when we work with customers, it's, they're, they're basically taking one of two approaches. They're either looking at their existing stack and adding capability onto that by putting in this real-time capability. Um, or they're looking at it as, you know, as they move to digital services, as they roll out new service offerings and new plans, they're starting to build a new stack. And as they start to build a new stack, you know, as they start to sort of build this greenfield stack, they're starting with core um, policy and charging as the real-time core of the BSS. And so yes. they're starting with those pieces, and then over time we'll develop additional real-time applications that they'll eventually, you know, shift over to as their business shifts to digital. So you're managing policy and charging on the one platform? Yes, on a single platform. Wow, so that's concurrently happening. And are they moving, once they move to that uh, stack, do you find them diminishing the services on the older systems and perhaps moving more and more to the new stacks? Is that the goal? That's the goal over time. I mean, I think it's it's a long-term you know, vision for the operators. It doesn't happen overnight. Um, and they start in the areas where they think they have the most opportunity to, to monetize. And so one of the first areas we've seen a lot is the monetization of roaming services. Being much more aggressive and much more dynamic about the types of um, offerings they're doing for roaming so that people will actually turn turn on their data when they're traveling and use their data knowing that they you know they're going to control how much they're spending and, and knowing they'll have a view of you know when they want to use it they'll only be charged a certain amount um, so they're really roaming is a big area for us in terms of how operators want to monetize that first and so we see them putting that first on the on you know the, the new set of systems and on the real type systems and then you know moving more innovative to more innovative data packages over time well that would drive us towards LTE presumably a lot of them don't know how to bill for LTE. LTE either, or charge for it. Exactly. Is that one of the areas? Well, and they're experimenting too. I think one of the interesting things about LTE that we're, you know, learning along with our customer base is that it's completely unpredictable. <laughs> I mean, people, you know, the way that people are going to use the services on LTE networks, it changes dramatically when they upgrade from a 3G to a 4G phone. There's no way to, to really know exactly what user you know, patterns are going to be, what behaviors are going to be, what people are going to be willing to pay for. So there's an unpredictability and there's a need to take risks. And so I think they're looking, you know, a lot of our customers and prospects are looking for solutions where they feel like it's capable of managing that unpredictability and it's capable of you know, quickly you know, being able to, to create new packages or try new things with very little risk so they can figure out what's the best way to monetize you know, without having to spend a year developing a product to figure out that it didn't quite suit the market that, market that they were targeting. Well, un unpredictability and risk are two great drivers for operators all around the world at the moment. Exactly. So I think you're in the right space. <laughs> Jennifer, thanks for being with me today. Thanks, Tony.